What is happening everyone? My name is Lou. Thank you so very much for clicking on this video. And today I want to get into a superpower that I just feel is super powerful, un unbelievably underrated, and just overall and controversial. That power being emotional manipulation. Now, a quick disclaimer before I begin this video. I do not condone any type of emotional manipulation in the real world, any gaslighting of anyone of any type. If you do that, you're a low human being and I don't respect you. You're, you're a trash person. You're a dick. But with that disclaimer out of the way, I just want to get right into it. I am hydrated, got my notebook ready with all my notes, and let's just jump right in. What is emotion manipulation? It is the ability to manipulate the emotions and it is a subpower of mind manipulation. Other names it goes by is advanced empathy, induced, imp uh, induced empathy, mood control, pathokinesis, and emotion control. This power to me is just absolutely insane. Now let me get to let me just go ahead and explain to you what, what this allows the user to do. The user can sense and manipulate the emotions, including feelings, moods, and their effects of themselves, people, animals, and other creatures, whether by increasing, decreasing, causing or otherwise channeling emotions, even manifesting the emotional energy to a physical level. That to me is crazy. Like, if you, if, from what I just understood of this power, like, you can affect almost, well, pretty much every living creature on this planet. Everything is susceptible to this power. Almost, a, no, it is. It's a God-tier power. There, there are no ifs, ands, or buts. This is a God power. And the fact that it's not exactly used that much in fiction just baffles me. I mean, of course, you got, like, you know, someone like Aphrodite who is, you know, a god in mythology and in fiction, who has this ability, and it makes sense. But with that, let me just go ahead and segue into some of the users of this power. Some of the users include Naoya, or Naoyu from A Comic Kill. Uh, let's see, Psycho Pirate from DC, Raven from DC, Empath from Marvel, Rachel Summers from Marvel, Blue Diamond from Steven Universe, Vampires from the True Blood Universe, The Dragonborn, in the Elder Scrolls Skyrim via, via illusion magic, and the Pokemon Misprit, Misprite, sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong, I, I don't know a lot of these new Pokemon, forgive me. It's, I mean, you, uh, I just described you what it does, and pretty much everything I described is just crazy to me, right? It's I can't be the only one thing that's power just busted. But with all powers, there are limitations or drawbacks to kind of balance it out. Some of the limitations would include Users of a psychic shield are highly resistant. Beings with apathy, or you know, apathetic beings, or indomitable will, or even psychic immunity are impervious to this power. May have limited range, number and number of targets with this power, and some applications may cause emotional backlash. Let's let's be honest and unbiased. <laughs> you you have the ability to manipulate someone's emotion. How many people do you know have indomitable will? People in real life don't have that. People buckle with the slightest like inconvenience, so that's out. That means nothing to me. And I, I mean, if you had this power in real life, obviously other people would have other powers, possibly. But how many psychics would there be? How many psychics are there in you know Marvel and DC? Really, like it's a very limited number. I want to go into a couple of examples why I think this power is a godly power. You think about it. Humans are so emotional. We're such emotional creatures that if you had the ability or had this ability to change the way somebody thought or how they felt or in general just you know anything that's like weighing them down you can change that in somebody you could do so much good you could help somebody get over a loss a little bit faster a little bit easier you can help people cope with uh any type of setbacks i know it's the same thing but whatever you could you know bring joy to your friends families complete strangers who don't even you know who might just be going through a tough time i I try to see the good in these abilities. I don't. I know there's a lot of evil with these powers, but to me, that I, I try to see the good in things. And maybe I am being naive, but it is what it is. Also, you know, even if you had a limited number of targets, let's say you're you're limited to five to ten people. So if you're limited to five to ten people at a fifty yard range, that's still very dangerous. According to Google, the emotional spectrum is between anywhere between twelve emotions. All the way up to 34,000, which is stupid to me, meaning you have that much of a range. The emotions that were mentioned include fear, 
anger, sadness, disgust, excitement, joy, love, satisfaction, surprise, anxiety, amusement, awkwardness, <laughs> awe, envy, contempt, pride, and shame. That's what? Uh, about 16, 20 or something like that. That's a lot of emotions that you can you can manipulate and cause certain effects. Able to manipulate somebody and say, hey man, just chill out and like cause them to go, you know what, it's not that big a deal and just immediately chill out. You you would win every fight. You can cause great fear in somebody. I don't, I don't suggest it, but you can cause great fear in someone to just like cut, cut it out, like just stop the immediate action. Like they wouldn't have any regard to like fight you if they're so afraid of you they're like nah I don't want no I don't want none of that smoke. With that out of the way let's go ahead and give me some of my scores for this power. The score I want to get into is versatility. And to me I can't go any lower than a seven. I feel like this is this power is just exceptional for versatility, especially in today's age and how people are influenced by other people and how you can how much good you could do with this power as well as evil. I'll admit it you can do a lot of good and a lot of evil with this power so Take it as you will. So yes, it's gonna get a seven for versatility. Creativity, I'm sorry, it's gonna get another seven. I can't go any lower than these sevens on these two categories. I just feel like you can be super creative. If you can make someone feel awkwardness, like, like, how creative is that? Like, I mean, it's not super creative. It's just like, oh, I can make you feel this emotion, especially with that spectrum of like 12 to 34,000. The sky's the limit. Destructive capability, DC, Let's be real. It's really can. It's a really strong ability. Even with the limited range, the fact, like I said before, that emotions are our emotions are contagious. This is a pretty destructive power, and I can't see going any lower than nine out of ten for DC. The fact you can affect animals and you can affect other creatures and things like that, and really make them change the way they think and how they feel, is absurd to me. It's outrageous, and I, I just can't see anything. See anything lower than 9 for this power. So yes, 9 out of 10 for DC. Daily use, me personally, I would use this every day. No ifs, no ands, no buts. I use it on myself. I use it on my girlfriend. I use it on her kids. I use it on my dog. I use it on like people I spar with. Not in a negative way, but just make it fun. I just, I would use it all the time. And to me, it gets a perfect score. It gets a 10 out of 10 for daily use. This power would be, at least for me, you can have different opinions and let me know them in the comment section. But for me, this power would be like abused to like no end. And I don't care who knows it. So overall, to me personally, I'm not even going to give it a score. I'm just going to give it a title. It's a godly power. No ifs, no ands, no buts. I don't know who the best and worst users are because the, the characters are kind of like flimsy. But overall, it's a godly power. And if you have it, you're not unstoppable. With that all out of the way, I thank you so much for watching this video. If you can, please like the video and subscribe. And yeah, I'll catch you later. Peace.